Welcome to Digital Journal TV. My name is Chris Hogg. And I'm David Silverberg. So are you looking for the best gift guide that you can think of this holiday season? Well, this episode of Digital Journal TV, we got some top five gadgets of some cool stuff, some weird stuff, and uh, some gadgets you might not see too often. Stay tuned. Coming in in our fifth spot, the top five gadget, is a gadget for drivers. In some places, it's illegal to drive and use your cell phone at the same time. So our top five pick is Bluetooth technology that lets you go hands-free on a cell phone. And no, we're not talking about those little earbuds you put in your ears. They do annoy some people, so we've got something better. The Sony Ericsson HCB150 is a Bluetooth speakerphone for your car. It mounts on your sun visor and when anyone calls, a display shows the caller's name and text-to-speech technology verbally alerts you to who is calling. Digitaljournal.com mobile. The device we have to say works very well with 25 hours of talk time and 700 hours of standby time. Great little device, but what are we looking at for cost damage? $229 for this piece of hands-free freedom. So not for everyone, but if you can afford it, it is a good gift idea. Coming in at fourth place is another Bluetooth device for people looking to lose the landline phone. If you've ever, you know, been wandering through your house looking for your ringing cell phone, oh man, that's annoying. Well then, this device is for you. Check it out. The X-Link BT Cellular Gateway allows you to connect your cell phone to this box wirelessly via Bluetooth, and then plug in a traditional phone to the box. So if you're at home and your cell phone rings, you don't have to scrounge around trying to find it. Instead, it forwards your cell phone calls to the traditional home phone. So there's one model for someone who just has a cell phone, and then there's another model in case you have a landline and a cell phone, so calls will come through to the same handset. Anything else, Chris? The device costs 70 bucks, which isn't bad, and you can actually hook up up to three cell phones with distinct rings, so you and the kids can all have your own ring. Coming in in our third spot is a security device. Dave, if you had to guess how many cars were stolen every year, what would you say? I would say 15. <laughs> a few more than that. In Canada, there's actually 159,000 cars stolen every year. That's 435 vehicles a day, or one every three minutes. So Even on Christmas? Even on Christmas, Dave. What? They don't just stop. <laughs> so we have a device that's meant for you to keep track of where your car is. The Blackline GPS Snitch is a small box that connects via GPS and cell phone networks to monitor the location of a vehicle. Pop it in your trunk or hide it under your seat, and if a thief takes your car, the unit will track its whereabouts. So what makes this so badass? Guess. Um, it's tiny. That and it'll actually send you an email and a text message as soon as it senses motion. Your car moves, you get notified. You can then log on to the website and view a map showing where your car is, allowing you to locate it if it's stolen. In our tests, it tracked our whereabouts quite well, accurate to within about 10 feet. The device will actually last for seven days in standby mode, and you can also hook it up directly to your car's power supply, so it's hooked right into the battery. And if I can show one thing here, the buttons on the front of it that light up when you turn it on, when it's actually active, they're off. So if a thief finds this in your car, it just looks like a dummy little thing that doesn't work. It costs $300 plus $14 a month in subscription fees. The only downfall, it's not a miracle product because it won't work in underground garages, so not ideal for many apartment users. But nevertheless, it's a good way to get your car back. Our second place gadget is a product specific to the Apple iPhone. Well, with how popular the iPhone is, we thought it'd be pretty necessary to talk about how this gadget is making an already cool product even better. Anyone who's used the iPhone knows the battery life is, well, horrible and you're forced to pretty much charge it every day. If you're a hardcore user, you might not even make it through a full day. The Mophie Juice Pack 3G is a simple battery extender that actually saves the iPhone from dismal battery embarrassment. Slide the phone in when battery levels drop and it will recharge your phone. The Juice Pack also has lights on the back, so with a quick press of the button, you can visually see how much juice is left in the pack. 
In Digital Journal's test, we use the Juice Pack twice on the Apple iPhone, extending the iPhone life to four full days. Pretty impressive, and that's an amazing jump for a gadget that's pretty power hungry. The unit will set you back a hundred bucks, but if you're an iPhone user, it's a great freedom to have, and uh, if you're on the road all the time, you don't have to carry those pesky cords. So, the Mophie Juice Pack, we love. Except the name, Mophie. I'm not sure what that means. Juice Pack kind of sounds funny too. Mm, I'm getting kind of hungry, actually. <laughs> so, the number one gadget, lame drum roll, Dave. I agree. <laughs> is a gadget that we saw earlier this year at the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. And at that point, Digital Journal had given it best accessory for a digital camera. It's still one of the most useful and innovative ideas we've seen this year. So going into the holidays, we are giving it the number one pick as our holiday gift guide. So Dave, do the honors. It is? The iFi Memory Card is an SD card that fits into your digital camera. Available in two or four gigabyte modes, it basically connects to your, uh, your Wi-Fi network at your home or your office and automatically uploads photos right onto your PC. No wires needed. First, you install simple software for the iFi Manager. And when you're done, it does all of the rest of the work for you. If you're taking pics at home, every time you snap a shot, it will automatically upload it to your computer. No cables required. If you're out on the road taking pics, all you need to do is come home, turn on your camera, and it will automatically dump all the photos you took throughout the day onto your computer. It's that easy. There's two versions of the iFi card, the home version and the shared version. And the shared version is great for people who want to automatically upload photos right to their photo sharing and social networking sites like Facebook or Flickr. You can actually upload to 25 sites in total. Great innovation. And it's one of the reasons why we're focusing on an accessory this year, more so than a gadget. A rare thing for us to do, but that innovation is great. It's available, the home version is, for $99. You can get the share version for $119. The only thing we want to see is more formats. What do you think? I think there's going to be compact flash, XD, memory stick, well, maybe in the future. The SD is only available for some cameras and it's just so great we want to have it in all cameras. So we hope you enjoyed our gift guide. For Digital Journal TV, my name is Chris Hogg. And I'm David Silverberg. Visit digitaljournal.com. Tell us what you think. See you next time. Coming in at fourth place is another Bluetooth device for you. Let's say you really want to find your ringing cell again, phone. Again, again. Okay. Yeah. Let's say I don't remember my line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's say I'm a little... Don't do the Jackie Chan thing. Too bad the camera wasn't rolling for that. That would have been a good blooper. <laughs> wasn't it? I thought it was rolling. So we're pretty impressed and that's why an accessory is getting more attention than a gadget as our number one pick this year. Now there's a few, you know, quibbles we got with it. One is, well, it's got to be available in other forms. We got to do it. We got to do it. It was like an awkwardly. I know. I was waiting for you. I to forgot do what I was gonna say. <laughs> That's why I filled in. We would like to see other formats. As however, there's, uh, it's only available through. Oh my God. <laughs> that time of day. Why is this one uh, so hard? I, you can tell me 50 times. I'm still gonna screw it up.